Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to take your older classic movies and watch them for the very first time. I kick off every single video with a preview review, which is what I tell you what I think the movie is about based on pop culture around the movie. We watch it together, edit it, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Would I tell a friend to watch it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars. There you go. You're good. No. Oh, you grumpy son of a bitch. So today was not up on a poll because my dear friend Jeff, who does so much for the channel, more than you will ever know, told me that I have to watch this movie. He's mentioned it before. I've been sitting on it for a while. It's just never made it to a poll. It's never come up in the comment section, so I've never brought it up before. But you know what? I was like, you know what? Jeff wants me to watch it. I'm gonna watch it. Jeff's never steered me wrong before. And today's movie is the 1992 Sneakers. I can honestly say that I have never heard of this movie before. I don't know what it's about. And since I have no earthly idea, I am going to look up a movie poster and hope it doesn't ruin too much. So this is what I am looking at. And I can already tell you when I typed in 1992 sneakers, a bunch of vintage actual like tennis shoes came up. So that's really funny. It's got Robert Redford. I, that name does not sound familiar. Dan Aykroyd, which I know him from Ghostbusters and he was also in 50 First Dates as the doctor. We could tell you what it's about, but then of course we would have to kill you. Okay, well. And this gives absolutely nothing away. So... Ooh, I don't know. All right, well, enough diddly dallying, enough messing around, enough guessing. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is the 1992 Sneakers. Good sax in here though. Bringing in that good electric. Hell yeah. What we just do? The Republic. Listen, I'll give you my bank number if you want to send me some. That way. I never lose. Oh. <laughs> or will you lost today, son? So they've come to crack down and it's only one guy there. Oh, you got lucky going to get in the pizza, man. Nah, dude, you in it, you alone. It's just you now. Braille. <laughs> I was like, reading what? Playboy! <laughs> okay, Blinken. Do you need an instruction manual for a fire alarm? <laughs> Me. Son. Sir. Good work. Thank you, sir. All yours, bitch. That's so funny! Okay, you know what? Not only am I not smart enough to break out of Shawshank, I'm also not smart enough to rob a bank. 90,000, 100,000. Okay. That is a lot of money to be carrying in one briefcase. People hire you to break into their places to make sure no one can break into their places. Smart! Okay. Also known as Mother. 18 months of Denimar for breaking and entering. Yeah, he was framed. He's got the best hands in the business. So his team is created with previous felons. Just everybody on your team has had some sort of problem in their past. And then there's Martin Bishop. Who doesn't have a past, though? He doesn't seem to have a past. Oh, I guess Martin doesn't. <laughs> Call us at this number. Mr. Bryce. Call Mr. Bryce at that number? Or is Bryce his real name? Well, we learned that today. That's a cute little car! Fine. I know you're not gonna say Russia. Yeah. <laughs> it's been on a couple of papers. Yeah, we still spy on them, they still spy on us. So not much has changed. But if you guys don't want to take that chance just to keep me out of jail. I'll tell you what.
Tell you what, he could get it. He is attractive. But I'm in it for the money. I don't care if you go to jail. Me neither. I'm <laughs> Uh, we love honesty. She's so pretty! We have a little clubhouse, probably have a secret handshake. Liz, I need your help. So Liz is petty, and I love that. This isn't a date, dummy. This is a scientific exploration, a tutorial. I need you. Yeah, in the name of science. Look at her jawline. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. She's beautiful. You and I are not getting back together. Hey, don't flatter yourself. Something tells me they're going to get back together. Oh, yeah. It is a bat, right? She's dying to talk to you, too, Greg. It is a bat. What a great way to push that off. Excuse me. What happened? Secrets don't make friends. Tell me. He's just wearing four safety lights. <laughs> and eating a banana. Phone, lamp, answering machine. I forget how big technology used to be like, look at the answering machine, that, that son's a bitch, it's a brick. I love that all white suit though, that's a nice suit. Let's do what we did in Mexico City. Oh, God. Well, we found out what they were whispering about. I must finish my work. She's like, you gotta finish me, you know what I'm saying? Eh? Aww. Oh my god. Janet's little black box is on his desk between the pencil jar and the lamp. Aren't you the blind one? The cell TX-71 concealable mic is part of the same system that NASA used when they faked the Apollo moon landing. <gasps> yeah, the I like Dan's character in this. This is fun for me. I can't reach my card. Could you buzz this Oh, I see what's happening right now. Nice. I respect it. That's fun. And now they have a cake. Uh, even better. That's not a cake, is it? It's not a cake. Yeah. Is there really that many instructions? I'll give it a shot. <laughs> there it is, a little hard drive. Is that what we're looking for? Oh yeah? Who do you think paid for your little love job to Mexico City? <gasps> Clever. That's good. And never let him know that, that you know what he thinks you don't know. That you know now. That we both know together. And give him head whenever he wants. Oh him my head. god! <laughs> oh. oh, get it, Dan! That's a choice. These are choices being made. How come you didn't get caught? We don't talk about it because that's a sore subject. Died in prison. Oh, that's sad as hell. Wasn't ready for that. So I think I'm gonna buy me a Winnebago. The big kitchen. That'd be good for you. That'd be fun. Whistler? Oh, you're gonna drop your grapies. Scrunchy. Oh, nice, it is. Scrunchy. Yeah. Scrunchy. Scrunchy. <laughs> Scrunchy. It is a word. It's a little hair tie. Oh, please. That's not a word. <laughs> right now, your you face go. is scrunchy. No, it's not a word. All right. We're gonna take it. Oh, I'm sad that he, that Whistle cannot play Scrabble with his other friends because. <laughs> he cannot see. Special extraterrestrial excited creatures. <laughs> but it's an option. Too many secrets. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is just, it accesses everything. Air traffic control system. You know what? I could never in a million years have guessed that this is what this movie was going to be about. Oh my god, y'all have so much power now. Okay, for some reason I thought he was letting them into their home and I'm like, do they live in a storage unit? This is where I get off. Nice <laughs> She's like, I got to go. Lock everything Whistler down, doors and windows. windows. Then kill the light. You bet. Thank you for the trust, fellas. Oh, oh, I thought they were doing it like for her safety, not for like her telling on them. I thought they were caring about her safety and somebody coming after her. I'd hate for you to have something new to learn from. 
Oh, you didn't have to be petty. You didn't have to be petty like that. There they are. They're very excited. This is a trap, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. They're not really with the national people. This is a double crossing. They were never going to give you the money. They was going to shoot your ass. There's one way to find out. You were going to pop a Huey and go back to him? Oh, I would never. Cisco, their West Coast operations are right out of Los Angeles. Why didn't you do your background check on these people, Martin? Shit. What a rookie mistake. They probably were government. Just not ours. Just not ours. <laughs> He doesn't exactly blend in in that tan tent tri <laughs> tan trench coat. These are just the ones we thought we could turn. You know, sexual problems. <laughs> Jesus. You disappeared once before, my friend. I suggest you do it again. Who does he work for? Who's he working for? Oh, 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 oh. You won't know who to trust. I'm very stressed. Hands on the wall, sir. Slow down. Grab the wall. Wiggle like it, trying to make your ass fall off. <laughs> what? Lord! Just. Alright, well, this got very interesting. Oh, shit. What are you doing up? 99. That's fun. Pain. A little bit. I got pistol whip. Shit. <gasps> it's his friend. I thought you died in prison. For starters, we organized their entire financial operation. Is that Microsoft Paint? Politicians have bought and sold like so much chattel, our problem won't What a cool little conference room that is. It operates not on reality, but the perception real. Right, because everybody's reality is different. Indicated. Oh! An alias. So you're stuck working with your old pal. I hope your friends are okay. We haven't checked in on them in a while. Oh, you got hit over the head twice and got thrown out of a speeding car. Uh. Uh. I love her robe. Where's that address? I don't know. But we'd make it our way. Unload the van. What does Liz do for work? Because her house is beautiful. I need an extension or a name. Sea Tech Astronomy. One moment, please. Oh, I was gonna be like, see more buds. They've got the satellite in Tokyo. Oh, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I got very stressed. I don't know if y'all can tell. I was very focused. I was in it. Dude, that's crazy. I know this is a movie, but just the idea that, like, they could piece that together, my dudes, that's crazy. Also, a little fun fact about Hubbin. He hates driving over bridges. I don't mind it. Very good, Bish. Remind me to make you an honorary blind person. Look at all those chickens! I keep forgetting to talk because I'm so into this movie. It won't be easy getting in there. Okay, run this on ahead and let's figure out Dan, who works next Dan, with that door. haircut, I cannot. That's an awful look for him. My voice is my passport. Verify me. Um, that's very cool. Comes to a complete stop at every stop sign and signals when he changes lanes. He's a very safe driver. He's an upstanding citizen. Computer data. I love it. Hey, you can find love anywhere. Let me see the back of that dress, girl. Let me see it. Woo! Love it. So pretty. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. One more time, a little more enunciated, please. And right, in, right into the microphone, please. I think they want us to leave. Sit down, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having such a good time. Passport? Oh. 
<laughs> it takes all kinds of kinds. Would you like to have breakfast with me? Sure, fine. Shall I phone you or nudge you? Oh! That's so funny. What do we do? What are we doing now? Changing clothes. No, going through the ceiling. That was close. Got it. I've watched a lot of movies about breaking and entering recently, or breaking out. Stir Crazy, Shawshank, this guy. Oh! Oh, I'm nervous, I'm scared! Oh, didn't like that. Uh, maybe I'll just open this window a little bit. Was he pounding his meat? Pounding uh, these breasts. Uh, <laughs> Shouldn't you be wearing a cap? I thought he always wore a hat. All right, here we go. It's time. Test the voice. Oh my God, he's gonna be so sweaty in that room. It's gonna be so hot. How is he gonna drop from the ceiling at two inches at a time to where the motion sensor doesn't go off? We got body temp crease. Go. All right. Oh man, I'm so nervous. I keep forgetting to talk because I'm just I'm too invested because I feel like if I'm quiet, then I'm like helping. Oh, pooch. Look what you've done to Doris's purse. Oh no, I'm so stressed. 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 The NSA killed Kennedy? No, they shot him, but they didn't kill him. He's still alive. That's it. I've had That's the concept. It's... I think you better hurry. He can't. He literally cannot. For one Thing I can't. <laughs> oh, I'm so stressed. And he can't even move fast. Wait a second. There's motion sensors in there, but there's also like little shark fish in there too. Wouldn't that set off the sensors? <laughs> go, go. Go, go fast. We'll call you a cab. Oh, Thank you. I'm so. This is my uh, last computer date. I don't think I ever breathed. Y'all won't know something that I'm real mad at me about. I just now realized this movie is not about tennis shoes. This movie is not about sneakers. It's about sneakers. I know you are in the building and I know you can hear me. <laughs> She's lovely, Marty. Honestly, you know what? She told you multiple times that y'all are never getting back together, so she ain't your girl. Take the decoder, go. Leave her. That's her fault. That's her fault. She could have been with you. Ah! I thought he was gonna shoot. <laughs> God damn it, you gave me your word. He said he couldn't kill you. I cannot kill my friend. <laughs> kill my friend. <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> oh, what the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> that reminds me of Iron Man when Tony Stark hit the guy. I was like, don't you hate it? But just for no reason? I'll talk you through it. Now hurry. You could drive what? The, the van. Now remember, Bishop has his honorary blind person card now, so he can talk you through it. He's still on the roof and to get caught Howdy. by his ex-best friend. Call it. If I were you, I'd destroy that thing. He ain't gonna do it. You'll have to pull the trigger. I wouldn't just say that. Because what if he does? It's because he can't kill his best friend. Damn, son. You got got. Don't you hate it? <laughs> Not one word. Okay, all of you, step over here. <laughs> Who are these people? I believe you have something that belongs to me. Is that the man that voices uh, Mufasa in The Lion King? What do you want, Mr. Bishop? That's for sure Mufasa. This is not a car dealership, pal. He wants a Winnebago. I love this. They're all getting their deal that they were going to get the money for. You could ask for anything and, and you're going to ask for her. Oh, you simpleton. Do mostly to large anonymous donations. Love that for everyone involved. Oh my God, let's talk about it. Okay, I, I thought for sure, honestly, 
honestly. Well, one, I clearly didn't know what I was getting myself into. And with the title Sneakers, I th I really thought this was gonna be like some kind of sports movie. Wow, was I wrong? I was very wrong. This was a fun movie. I've never heard of it before. That guy at the end, Abbott, that's for sure the voice of Mufasa. Marty Bishop could absolutely get it, 100%. Dan is so funny, very witty. I love conspiracy theories and talking about stuff like that, so that was fun for me. Like, just to hear, you know, the debate between him and uh, the CIA guy, his friend, you know? I don't think I breathed the entire time that Marty was in the temperature-controlled room having to sneak at two inches, you know, a moment. What a fun movie! I am pleasantly surprised! But then again, I told you in the preview review that my buddy Jeff, he'll mention these crazy, these off-the-wall movies and it's usually pretty good! Except he was a- he did tell me that Mad Mad World was gonna be fun and that did not go so well. This movie went great! So if you've never seen the 1992 sneakers, very fun. I don't think I've done a spy movie yet. Well, they're not really spies. Well, kind of like spies. Five out of five stars. If you have not watched sneakers from 19... <coughs> Whoa. From 1992, highly recommend. And then for his best friend to be the bad guy when I thought he died in prison. This was a fun movie. Five out of five stars. I would totally watch it again. Thank you so much, Jeff, for all your help on the channel and how much you support me and Beans and you know. Anyways, <laughs> like, subscribe, stick around. This Friday is actually a movie from a Hello Beans winner. I know. Ashley, what do you mean a Hello Beans winner? That was back in October. Yes, I know. Sorry. <laughs> Like, subscribe, stick around so you never miss a Millennial Movie Monday or Millennial Movie member pick. I got some fun ones coming up for you up on polls, on Patreon. I will see you on Friday. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of YouTube. And until then, I will see you then. Yeah. Hi, my little hot baby. Come here. You gonna hang out with me? Okay. So, thank you all for checking on Beans. She is here, clearly. <laughs> she's on uh, some pain medicine right now, so she's a little high in this moment. Aren't you, baby? That okay? Everybody was worried about you, but she's had these before, and we know how to fix them. It's when she decides that her food is not enough and she gets in the dog food and Blake and I forget to put the dog food up. She gets in it, but she's going to be okay. She's just a little, she's a little high on some pain meds right now, aren't you? But it makes her super cuddly, so not all bad, huh? Okay. Tell them you're going to be okay, Beans. You look tired. <laughs> but thank you everyone who checked on Beans and asked if she was okay. She gonna be okay. You gonna be okay. You got your medicine and mom and dad are gonna do a better job at putting up Parker's food.